the shocking aftermath of a 33-hour mutiny, the discovery of dozens of bodies pulled out from multiple locations in Bangladesh's capital, Dhaka. Men in uniform murdered and thrown into a four-meter-deep hole. Another set of bodies found in a canal. As the search continues, the grim reality emerges. A large number of senior Bangladeshi officers have been identified, including the country's border security chief. Bangladesh is a nation in shock. Officers' headquarters apparently targeted and looted. The remains of their belongings shown here. Outside the compound, distressed relatives left to console each other and demanding answers from those in charge. Safikur Rahman was among the crowds of onlookers, desperate for news of loved ones in the compound. He's not heard from his brother, a major, for days. I've looked for him everywhere. We went to all the hospitals. We went wherever there was any hope of finding him, but we couldn't find his dead body. While visiting relatives of officers on Friday, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina vowed tough action against those responsible. There are reports that some of the mutineers were arrested as they tried to flee. This incident has been the biggest test yet facing Prime Minister Hasina since she was elected in December. The army and police may be back in control in Dhaka, but these new images will bring more distress and anger. One other worry is the possibility of bombs hidden across the city. Divers have been sent to scour the city's sewers to check for booby traps. While the revolt may be over, there are many unanswered questions that the government of Sheikh Hasina will have to address in the coming days. Nazanin Sadri, Al Jazeera.